Hi, I'm David Reed with PropWorks. We're at the Sci-Fi Museum in downtown Seattle for the Stargate Live Auction, which is going to be September 25th and 26th. Alongside me are a number of the various costumes that are going to be for sale. And I'd like to quickly take you down the line to show off uh, uh, some of the more prominent ones. Uh, this is Vala's villager costume from the Ark of Truth. Just a great costume. Neam's costume from Stargate Atlantis. He was one of the replicators. Michael, played by Connor Trinier from Star Trek Enterprise, one of the big Wraith villains in Stargate Atlantis. Uh, this is Laren's uniform, Laren's costume from uh, Travelers and uh, I believe Be All My Sins Remembered. General Hank Landry, played by Bo Bridges in the last two seasons of Stargate SG-1. This one is Mitchell's BDU, specifically from the uh, season 10 episode, The Shroud. This is Daniel's Blue BDU. I believe this was from, uh, it just says SG-1. Um, we have here Teal'c's Tan Camo BDU. This is a little bit rarer costume. Uh, we're really excited to have them. This is Keller's Duty uniform from the Stargate Atlanta Season 4 episode, Missing. Very important uh, uh, Keller episode. One of my favorites, Ball's costume from The Quest. This is amazing leather work. Cliff Simon had the best costumes on the show. They, they called him dressing for intimidation. Over here we have Weir's Big Reveal replicator outfit, one of my favorites, um, because this is the, uh, probably one of the few scenes in Atlantis where my jaw physically dropped when I watched that scene. This is Woolsey's gray duty uniform from The Last Man. This was before he was brought in as the commander of the base. So this was kind of a prophetic episode. No one knew yet that he was going to do that. Uh, this is Cena's Tok'ra uniform. Uh, we have Kolya's Janai uniform from Remnants. Robert Davi came back to do this episode. McKay's Antarctic Outpost costume from Rising. This is the first costume that David Hewlett wore in the uh, Stargate Atlantis pilot episode. Beckett's prison outfit from, this is the Kindred part one, uh, and I believe part two as well. We thought he was dead and then he wasn't. We have Taylor's costume right here. This is also from Missing. Uh, Rachel Luttrell just has the best costumes. She, they, they really made her look gorgeous. Not that she wasn't already. She was, she's, anyway. Um, okay, for this one, we have the Aurora Captain uniform from the episode of the same name, Aurora. I love this leather vest, really great. You've got, um, you've got wrist uh, bracelets as well. Uh, Toman's Ori Crewman costume from season 10 of Stargate SG-1. I believe Line in the Sand. Uh, and uh, you've got uh, another Toker uniform here, a Replicator Soldier costume from Season 3 of Stargate Atlantis, and last but what, uh, but not least, but certainly smallest, is uh, the Furling costume from 200. The Furlings were, obs I mean, people obsessed about the Furlings from the first season of SG-1 uh, from uh, Torment of Tantalus uh, when their writing was first introduced. They were given a name in Season 2, and in Season 10 of Stargate SG-1, the 200th episode, we finally got to see them a version of them. Okay, I lied about the Furling costume being the last one. Really, really last one now, the prior costume from seasons nine and 10 of Stargate SG-1. I love this design. And uh, the, the uh, prior stuff is not included. We just displayed it like this. Uh, this is lot 140 in the uh, Stargate live auctions. That's just a brief look at some of the costumes that we have on display here in Seattle. Just a fraction, perhaps a tenth of the ones that are going to be on sale tomorrow, Saturday, September the 25th, uh, both here uh, in Seattle and on liveauctioneers.com. 850 lots, you can't miss it.